Jonathan Aiken, you served as Chief Secretary to the Treasury under John Major. And of course, you were in Parliament when Mrs. Thatcher uh, won that, uh, that election victory in 1979. Uh, so welcome to GB News, Mr. Aitken. Uh, is Liz Truss Margaret Thatcher Mark II? I don't think there'll ever be a Margaret Thatcher Mark II. Um, I'm very non-political these days. I'm a prison chaplain and long gone from the political scene. But of course, I watch it with interest. And slightly to my surprise, I find I've actually got a vote because I've never cancelled my subscription to the Conservative Party. So in the coming days, I think some ballot papers will arrive. And I'm still just about a floating voter. I agree with a great deal of what Tim Montgomery said. But I, if I had to cast my ballot tomorrow, and I think I'd just about cast it for Rishi Sunak, really because of uh, two things. Uh, number one, he uh, is um, a man of great experience on what is the vital battlefield of all, which is the economy. Uh, and I think he's making a lot more economic sense than Liz Truss is. Um, Liz Truss, or both candidates, like to sort of say they're taking over the mantle of Margaret Thatcher. But it's forgotten <clears throat> Margaret Thatcher was very cautious in her early days as Prime Minister. Her first major budget, um, the 1981 budget, she thought the priority was getting inflation down. She actually increased taxes. So I, I'm not a fan of some of the economic policies I hear. But let's face it, these are two very good candidates. Uh, they've both performed well. Uh, they have both got a lot of charisma. I think either of them could do the job. Um, I think Tim Montgomery struck an important note, which is um, the quality of the cabinet. Machiavelli's great um, essay on the prince begins with the words, most famous bullet essay in history, best way of judging the quality of a ruler is to look at the quality of the brains of the men and now women about him. Uh, and uh, we've had some weak, weak cabinets recently, mm. uh, and there are better people in the, in the front line of cabinet politics today uh, around. And when I first came into Parliament in 74, um, there were giants uh, on the back benches on both sides, uh, men who'd got great experience, um, who'd been there for years, who'd done big things in their lives and their careers. Uh, I think we had a lot of people who'd fought very gallantly in the war. And I was no use harking back. But nevertheless, the key thing, wisdom, experience, real quality of being able to stand up and voice a clear, independent view around a cabinet table. Uh, this is what I think I'd be looking for in the next prime minister. And these hustings, I'm, I think I'm not the only one, even though I'm out of politics, I'm pretty bored by them. Uh, and I don't really agree with the system which gives boring old buffers like me uh, approaching 80 uh, a vote in this election just because um, we are members of the dwindling Conservative Party. Uh, this is no way to select a Prime Minister. Uh, I'd much rather have left it to the votes of those in the House of Commons. But we are where we are. I think Tim is probably right that um, Liz Truss has got the edge in these polls and so on. But nevertheless, uh, let's remember that the job of Prime Minister is the first Lord of the Treasury. And I think uh, decisive and clever uh, Treasury decisions and Treasury policies are really what are going to be needed to see Britain through. So, so briefly, uh, Mr. Aitken, would you, would you suggest that actually at the moment your vote goes with Sunak? Yes. Um, marginally. I mean, I'm, I'm still listening. We've still got mm. another two and a half weeks to go on, on this marathon, and you hear something new every day. Um, I'm not a knocker of this trust at all, although in the field I'm interested in as a prison chaplain, uh, she was not a good justice secretary. Uh, she was unhappy justice secretary, didn't win good opinions from people in the justice world. Uh, so um, on balance, I'm, even though I don't know him, uh, from what I hear, I, I would vote for Sunak on the grounds of experience.